Hey guys, Steve Bivens here again with another of the 52 things I think I know and this is number 18 and the title today is Your Story Is Your Reality. Uh, there is no, well let's see, there are things outside of us that happen, okay? Let me be clear on that. Not everything is your, is, in other words, external reality isn't an, an illusion of your mind, okay? But the story you write around that is your reality. Because reality is a story. It's not really anything else. Yes, there are planets and trees and, and you know, oceans and cars and all that other stuff so-called outside of our body, which is not really outside of our body because we're connected to them physically. Uh, everything in the universe, which we talked about already, if you missed that, I don't know, last week or whatever, um, <clears throat> we're connected. So there is no external reality, really, um, other than the things out there. But what we perceive as reality in here is the story that we write around it and it's only ours everyone has one and everyone's is different that's why we disagree on so many things right um is that our experiences what we've been told what we've learned our own perspective is what we use to write a story around everything that happens to us, around us, or whatever, in our planet, in our, in our universe. So it's, our reality is very much ours, individual, because we each construct a story around the things that happen. <clears throat> and, and two different people standing next to each other at the same event are going to write two different stories about it. Because their perspectives are very different, can be very different. They might be similar, but they might be very, very different. And they see different things. They pay attention to different things. So, and they have different attitudes about life in general. One might be a very negative person, uh, and the other might be a very positive person. And they're going to write two very different stories about the event. Uh, there's no question about that. And we all know this is true. We all have friends that are more positive than us and friends that are more negative than us. What's the difference between the event that we all attend? <laughs> the difference is the people and the story they write around that event. And something bad, so-called bad can happen to you. And you break your leg, whatever, heart attack. One person might see that as the end of the world. Oh, I broke my leg. I can't go to work. I can't do this. I can't do that. Or I, maybe I had my leg chopped off. You know, and not my life is over. Well, there's a guy with no arms and le or legs, okay, climbing the highest peaks in the on the planet. True story. I don't remember his name. I don't have it in front of me right now, but I've seen his story. Uh, so <laughs> his story is very different than someone else who lost both legs and both arms. And it's all about the story. So, uh, think about the story that you're telling yourself every day, all day long, about who you are, about who other people are, about what is going on in the world, what is going on in your life. And, and think of it as a story that you're writing, because it is. You're writing it in here, constantly. Write a good story. Change the, change the scope of the story. Change it from tragedy to comedy or epic heroic comedy. Always put the comedy in there. You gotta have some sense of humor. All right, guys, we'll see you next week.